Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In this week's video, I wanted to do a bit of an editing session. So if you saw my last video, you saw we went to H2O up in Ocean City, Maryland. I took a bunch of photos there. We're going to be looking at some of them today and doing some edits. I'm going to kind of go over my thought process while I'm editing photos. I did a video similar to this on my channel a while back, but since then I've learned a few new things and my editing process has changed just a little bit. So we're going to jump into Lightroom and check out some photos. All right, so I'm gonna start with this photo of my car right here. This was at the end of our street. Uh, the beach is right behind me. Um, first thing I'm gonna do, there's some pretty harsh shadows in the front bumper of the car and kind of along the sides. Uh, what I like to do for stuff like this is grab the adjustment brush and I bump up the shadows and the exposure. And then I take it and just kind of paint in those areas that I wanna brighten up. This, uh, you can also do this to help make the car stand out and kind of pop out of the photo. So I'm just gonna take and highlight a few areas. This is similar to something that might be done in portrait photography where you would brighten up the model's eyes or face and that's just gonna draw the attention right where you want it to go and kind of make it pop and stand out. Next thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and crop this for Instagram since it's a vertical. And what I'm noticing right away, actually, is this sign that is right here on the left. I thought I was gonna have to remove that in Photoshop, but actually we can get rid of it in the crop. And then we're only gonna have to deal with this one right here. So now I'm gonna go and take my normal shadows slider and bump that up a bit. Bump up the clarity. It looks good around 17. Now whenever you bump up the clarity, it tends to kind of suck the color out of the photo. So after I do that, I always bump up the vibrance and the saturation a bit, depending on the kind of look that I'm going for. And this one, I do want it to be a bit saturated. Now I'm gonna drag the highlights down, try and get some of that sky back. Another thing I've been doing recently is playing around with the dehaze slider. This was shot in the morning time, backlit. The sun was kind of blasting through here. Uh, let's see what this does. So you can see the dehaze, it kind of just, if it's foggy or hazy, it really just cuts right through that and clears it up. I'm just going to do a little bit here. Six or seven. So let's take a look at what we've done already. Bit more saturation, bit more punchiness. You can see we brought back the sky quite a bit, brightened up the car, kind of evened out the exposure on the car quite a bit. Now since this was basically sunrise, I kind of want to get that warm vibe to it, so I'm going to take the temperature slider and just move it a little bit towards more towards the warm side. I don't want to go too crazy with this, I think that looks good right there. Now I want to play with the colors a little bit, I'm going to go down here to the hue. I'm gonna grab the yellows and the oranges and kind of move them more towards the red. I'm also gonna do this with the green, move the green more towards the yellow. Want the saturation on those a little bit. Might play around with the tone curve here a little bit. This is something I still need to learn a little bit more about, but it can definitely add some punchiness to a photo. All right, so now we can see the before. And the after, the before is very flat, a lot of shadows on the car. After, a lot more punchiness, more even exposure on the car, and more saturation. And all the colors are moved more towards the warm side. Now the only other thing I'd want to do to this photo is take care of this no parking sign right behind the car. I think it'd just look better without it, a little distracting, it'd look a lot more clean without it. So I'm going to come down here, right click on the photo, and go to Edit in Adobe Photoshop. Now, one of the very powerful tools you can use is the Content Aware Fill. It makes removing stuff like this very easy, just depending on the situation. Hopefully, it will take care of this. So what I'm gonna do is grab the lasso tool, zoom in a little bit. I'm just gonna make a quick and dirty selection around what I want to remove. And then go to Edit, Content Aware Fill, and hopefully it will take care of this and it has not done a super good job there. It was a really small spot. Sometimes it's difficult on small spots like that, but I'm gonna hit okay and just deselect that. And we can clean this up the rest of the way ourselves with the clone stamp. So I'm just gonna select an area, start painting this in, painting the sky back in here. All right, zoom out. 
Yeah, I think that's better without the sign there. So usually if I'm gonna do something like that, I'll do all my edits beforehand in Lightroom and then bring it into Photoshop like I just showed you. So now we can just export this from here. All right, let's take a look at another photo. All right, we're gonna grab this photo of this NB here. Go ahead and do my crop. Now, same thing, I wanna make this car pop and that be the focus of the photo. So I'm gonna grab the adjustment brush and just brighten up some spots on it. Go to the clarities, bring that up. You can really see the metallic and the paint pop when I do that. The vibrance and saturation. Basically all the first things I do are gonna be right here in this first panel. The exposure, the highlights, shadows, clarity, vibrance, and saturation. Basically just trying to even out the exposure on the photo is the first things that I do. I'm gonna make this a little warmer. Not too much. Honestly, on this one, I really like how it was shot. I'm not gonna do a whole lot to it. I think it looks pretty good already. Might play around with some of the colors a little bit. On this one, I'm actually gonna go the other way on the dehaze and kind of, kind of bring some detail out of the shadows. It's very dark in this area and I'm not really liking that right now. So yeah, I'm gonna grab this and try and pull a little bit of that out. I'm pretty happy with that right there. Not a big change but sometimes that's all you need. Let's go down here. I kind of want to look at some of these rollers. Let's see if any of these are good. Oh yes, I remember this. I got a pretty nice shot of this Benny Woosh Toyota Supra. I'm gonna adjust the crop straight away. Grab our adjustment brush. I'm just gonna bring the entire exposure up on this photo and kind of drop these highlights. I think this one might benefit from an S curve. Yeah, I'm gonna try and make this one a little, a little more dramatic than the previous ones. So we can see the before and after on this one, made this one a lot more punchy than the original, a lot more contrasty, and just brighten that car up so it is the focus of the photo. I think it looks pretty good. Let's see if we can find one more to do. Let's see what we can do on this one. This was right at sunset. The lighting was pretty nice. I'm gonna crank the uh, temperature on this one, make it really feel warm and like sunset. Crank the contrast a bit. I'm gonna grab a brush and drop the highlights on it and try and just paint that in on the sky. I don't wanna do it on the whole photo on this one. With a little bit of that back. Play with the colors some more, really get that sunset vibe. See the sun's behind the car on this one? I might try and take a gradient filter and kind of emphasize that a bit. Grab like a yellow, orange, uh, that's way too much. I'm just gonna go a very little bit on that. And let's check out the before and the after. Kind of curious if we can get rid of this sign here. If it can get this, I'll be pretty impressed. The motion blur, blur in the background on this one might help us here. Boom, there you go. That's content aware fill for you. This tool is amazing. When it works great, it works amazing. So we're gonna hit okay. And boom, that sign is gone. I'm really happy that worked out. That's gonna make this photo look way better. Let's zoom out a little bit. Yeah, I'm very happy with that. Now that looks perfect. Perfect right here, you would never know. All right, so that is gonna do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this little bit of look into how I edit my photos. I've never really gone too crazy with the editing style of my photos. It has changed a bit now that I've learned more about Lightroom and Photoshop. But yeah, I don't, I don't like to go too crazy with the styling on it, play around with the colors a little bit. I like to add some punchiness and some contrast. Editing is just something that's mostly personal preference and you gotta just develop your own style and just learn by doing it. That all just takes time and practice and repetitions until you figure out what you like. But anyways, that's gonna do it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.